You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that means, buddy. Yeah. Seafood. <laughs> Fried clams. Runa fish. Cracked crabs. Runa salad. Jumbo shrimp. Runa sushi. <laughs> All right, you two. Don't forget the real reason we're here. Go lobster bisque. No, silly. We're here to solve a mystery. Aww. My friend Holly says there's strange goings on up here at her family home, Mystic Manor. <laughs> and she could really use our help. Look, there she is now. Hey, Holly. Hey, Daphne. I'm so glad you could make it. And you must be Freddy, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. Wow, the whole gang. I've heard so much about you. Daphne's kept me up to date on all of your cases, so I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. Really? And what mystery is that? It's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to unveil some new top-secret invention when he disappeared without a trace. No one saw him leave Mystic Manor, and no one will help me search the premises. Don't tell me! Because it's haunted, right? Yes, yeah, Shaggy. How'd you know? Because it's always haunted! Jeepers. Don't worry, Holly. We'll help you look around. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? Wrong. Yeah. Like me and Scoob have seen this show before. You guys can go poking around scaring up some spooksters. But we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Only ghost-free environments for us. Rip roast me is the way to be. Okay, you scaredy cats. Stay here if you want. Come on, guys. See you later. You know, Scoob, I can really go for a... Ruby stack! You read my mind, pal! Yeah, or maybe my stomach. <laughs> well, what do you know? Scooby Snacks! Hey there, Scoob! Wait up! Leave some for me! <clears throat> Don't do mouse wiki here! Not fishy, pal! Scooby Snacky! Raggy! Wait! Gee, Scoob, it's not like they got your name all over them. Well, actually, they do. <laughs> Scooby-Doo! Raggy? Right on the road. Oh. Oh, <laughs> 
Professor Graham disappear. Well dead? I'm also the one who's brought back all of your old bows. But why? That is a mystery you will never solve. And one more thing, I'm the one who's kidnapped all your friends. <laughs> well, uh, Scooby-Doo! See if you can get past this fiendish fright. You remember the Black Knight. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh. he was a beard. We'll worry about that later, Scooby. Watch out! It's the Black Knight. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> of the Black Knight ages ago. Have you found any clues? I don't know. There was a spooky groundskeeper. A spooky groundskeeper? Yeah, and ghosts and, and monsters. Scooby-Doo, you know there's no such thing as monsters and ghosts. Remember the first time we met the Black Knight? We thought he was a monster, but really he was just a guy in a mask. Aha! I found him! Jinkies! The lenses got knocked out. Here's some lenses, Velma. Thanks, Scooby. I can't see a thing without these. Jinky, Scooby, it's the Creeper! The Creeper? Where? He's, he's everywhere! Run, Scooby! Velma, wait! I don't see the Creeper. Why, hello there! Hello! I'm Professor Alexander Graham. And you found one of my amazing invention crates. Let's see now, what's in this one? Uh, oh, here we go. Well, inside this box, you can either find my automated herring scraper or my anti-stick galoshes. Oh, looks like it's the galoshes. With these, you can walk across any sticky surface and not get stuck. And best of all, <laughs> they're banana-flavored. Oh, banana. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> these might be useful. Oh, my God. 
This old friend of yours is dying to see you. <laughs> right? Scooby, I can't believe it! It's the Green Ghost! That's right, and pretty soon you won't stand a ghost of a chance. <laughs>
Good job, Scooby. But what's the green ghost doing here? There's so many ghosts around here. Scooby-Doo, the green ghost isn't really a ghost. Well, what about the Reaper and the Black Knight? Have you seen them as well? Uh huh? Jeepers, those are all villains from our past. Scooby-Doo, something strange is definitely going on here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Drown me! Oh, that is a ghost! I saw it, Scooby. Ah! Rikes! Easy, guys. It's just me, Holly. <sighs> oh, it's Holly. Holly, boy, am I glad to see you. Scooby and I have been seeing some pretty strange things. Hey, what's that? Oh, I found a box of my Uncle Alexander's inventions. I'm not sure why it's in here, though. He usually keeps them in his super secret lab. A secret lab? Yeah, that's where he thinks up all his crazy inventions. Maybe there's something in here we can use. Or a clue. Or a ruby snack. Solar-powered nightlight. Underwater wind is racket. Microwave safe ice cube tray. Ray, what's with this umbrella? That's actually one of my uncle's more useful inventions. <laughs> Raffney? Rolly? Anybody? Here we go again! Whippy! 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 Yahoo! 
behind this mystery. Have you seen the others? Well, but I lost them. Maybe if we look around, we can find some clues that will lead us right to them. And to the professor. <laughs> I've had a belly full of your meddling. It's high past time I did away with you once and for all. I think you'll remember this old adversary of yours. He certainly remembers the you. <laughs> Scooby, what's happening? It's the roast of Redbeard. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. <laughs> I think your old foe has a score to settle with you. <laughs>
Scoob? The Mastermind really had us over a barrel that time. Well, you ran under one. <laughs> we caught the ghost of Redbeard on that freighter years ago. I wonder what he's doing here. Yankees! Watch out, guys! The creeper's chasing me! Thelma, wait a second. There's something on your glasses. The creeper times two. Now this is a clue. And clues like this just don't fall into your lap by accident. Raggy! Scoob! Food! <laughs> we should go find Daphne and Holly and put all our clues together. And find that mastermind. Find a secret lab. A secret lab? Who told you about a secret lab, Scooby? Ronnie did, before she disappeared with Raffney. Come on, you two. You're coming with us. <laughs> no, get, get there, Scoop. Fred wants us to stop our s'more this morning. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. If you want to stay in this creepy cove all alone. Oh, Ronnie and I got rid of the ghosts. So, lots of goodies and no ghosts? Sounds better than a secret lab, huh, Scoop? Yep, a roast free room. <laughs> all right, then. We'll catch up with you later. You big chickens! Mm -hmm. Big chickens! <laughs> What's this? Professor Graham's Tricky Sticky Gum Doohickey. What do you say, Scoob? Wanna give it a try? Okay, rhyme game. It says here, this stuff will stick creeps in place so you can bounce off their heads. <laughs> the Roast Driver! Yeah, like the Ghost Diver. Roll! A roast driver! <laughs> like, let's get out of here, Scoob!
Oh, <laughs> 
草坡。<笑>
Gee, Scoob, we can get out of here. Why follow me, pal? Okay, let's go. Right. See you. Ready, ready, Wilma, Bolly. Hey, Scoob. Scooby, Bye. we'll be there. Yeah. See you. Hey, pal, what am I, chalk liver? <gasps> chalk, chalk liver. <laughs> Careful, Scoob. That vat is filled with acid. Acid? Come on, Scooby. You can do it. We're almost at the end of this mystery. And I've got a plan. Okay. Here I go. Ooh. Good job, Scooby. But why would anybody need this much acid anyway? The acid in those vats is used for etching. It was used to make those funky lenses that were in my glasses. This must be part of the professor's top secret invention. Jinkies! And now I know just what it is. The professor was making super real holograms. Like what on earth is a hologram? Holograms are images made out of solid light, Shaggy. Like the creeper from my glasses. Like wow! So that's where all the monsters have been coming from. Jeepers! Really? There's no ghosts? That's right, Scooby. No ghosts. Now listen up, gang. I've got a plan. But Scooby's gonna need to keep the mastermind distracted for it to work. Me? And that will buy us all the time we need to turn the tables on old Fright Face. Yeah, and then he'll face the fright. Ready, Scoob? Uh-uh. I'm not going anywhere. Well, would you do it for us Scooby Snack? Uh-uh. How about a whole box of Scooby Snacks? Okay. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> ah, yes. Soon it will all be mine. My brilliant plan is working perfectly. All that remains is... What? Impossible. How did you, a worthless cur, make it this far? I don't know. Well, your luck ends here. As well as all nine of your lives. I think that's cat. Run, my cat.
Now it's time to get to the bottom of this mystery. Come on, gang, let's see who the Mastermind really is. Wait, Fred, like I think I know who this guy really is. It's that spooky groundskeeper, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Blame the spooky groundskeeper. It's always the spooky groundskeeper. <laughs> what do you people have against groundskeepers? <laughs> Some detectives. Why don't you just say the butler did it? But no, it's always got to be the groundskeeper, don't it? Anytime some ghost scares somebody off a well-kept lawn, it's just got to be the groundskeeper. Like we couldn't just put up a sign that says, keep off the grass. Nah, no, I'll just get myself a big old rubber monster suit. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying, let's see who the mastermind really is. It's, it's Professor Alexander Graham! Oh, me? <laughs> oh, my. Uncle Alexander? I don't believe it. I knew it all the time. Something just doesn't add up. If you ask me, someone's playing a nasty trick. A trick of the light. Wow! That was just another hologram. Holly, what are you doing there? Zoinks! But Holly's right <laughs> Wrong, Shaggy. That Holly was just another hologram. The real Holly has been the mastermind the entire time. Think about the clues. Remember how Holly said she followed all of our cases? Only she'd know enough about our old foes to program holograms of them. And I noticed how she passed through that rail near the secret lab. By setting up a hologram of herself when the mastermind was around, she'd have the perfect alibi. But what I don't get is how she got the professor here. In a mastermind costume, no less. Well, that's simple. She used my patent pending, dressed for supper, suck you up. I spent so much time in the lab that I built a device that could get me dressed and to the front door in seconds. <laughs> that way I can... Uh, be on time to pay the pizza delivery man! <laughs> exactly! Ruthie! Holly must have used it to get here ahead of us and switch places with her uncle. Who she'd already stuffed up there. It was very uncomfortable, let me tell you. Like, and don't forget the most important clue of all! Hologram! Get it? Hologram! <laughs> I feel me! But why, Holly? Why go through all of this? You guys would have caught my uncle, and when he was sent to jail, I'd steal his super hologram invention and claim I came up with it myself. I would have made a fortune, too. Well, it, it was a good plan. Yeah, and I would have gotten away with it, too. If not for you meddling kids, and your pesky dog. Huh? Here, Professor, let me help you. Oh, thank you, kids. I don't know how to repay you. Well, all these fiddles are a great start! Hey! Scooby-Dooby-Doo! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.